Franz Beckenbauer, from German national team, used to have autohemotherapy. Multiple languages CC. When Beckenbauer hung up his boots, he said he attributed his physical performance to autohemotherapy. Before each match he had autohemotherapy, with 10 milliliters and he attributed his health to it as well as his physical resistance in the matches. This was his statement when he stopped being a footballer, and became the coach for the German national team. Dr. Luz Mura. Sports and Autohemotherapy. Uma terapia de 10 ml, em todos os jogos. Fazia sempre. E, e ele atribuía isso tanto à saúde que ele tinha, quanto a resistência física no, no jogo. Autohemotherapy is a simple technique, whereby withdrawing blood from the vein, and the immediate application in the muscle, stimulates an increase in macrophages. The normal rate of macrophages is 5% in the blood, and with the therapy, the rate is increased to 22%. This results in a powerful immune stimulant, because multiplies the body's defenses. For this reason, the autohemotherapy cures various diseases. This technique is centennial and has been released in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro by the renowned physician Dr. Luz Moura. At 87 years old, and nearly 70 professional experience, Dr. Moura still exercises his function as doctor. In the interview about the autohemotherapy, recorded on DVD, Dr. Luz Moura said, I am sure that this technique is absolutely harmless, that it does not cause any harm to people, I've never seen any problem. Keep in mind that against facts and photos there are no arguments. So your help is very important. Do your part by disseminating your testimony. Many people have already done. Promote your reports, surveys, photos and other documents, showing clearly that the autohemotherapy is effective and very beneficial. And so? Did you like the video? So please, click the like button, and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Goodbye. técnica simples em que, é, mediante a retirada de sangue da veia e aplicação no músculo, ela estimula um, o aumento dos macrófagos que são...